Good day, this is Prophet West coming to you briefly. Just a quick, quick thought and uh, a quick word of encouragement. And um, what I want to say is that uh, as I was uh, praying and seeking the face of God, I heard this sound and this sound, it was a cry. It was a cry, a cry out for help. And the more I heard the sound, the louder and louder the sound got. And then I perceived that it was the cries of many people that was reaching out to God, that was asking for help. And some even thought that God wasn't even hearing them. Uh, what I want to say to you today is that God has heard your cry. He's heard your cry. It's just like uh, when Emily, when Emily was born, that came a cry, a birthing cry. There was a birthing cry. And then there's a cry sometime when Emily cries, sometime when she's asleep. Good afternoon, good afternoon. When she's asleep and it's like she's having a bad dream. But once she, uh, but once she comes out of a dream, she has a certain type of cry where her lips uh, fold down and it, it does something to me. You know, I hate seeing it. And I grab and I rock and I say, everything's okay, baby. And I saw something today. There was this um, bear, polar bear, and the baby bear was in the water. And the baby bear was struggling to get back on top or get back on surface. But the mother bear from afar off saw her and he ran and, uh, and she ran and she rescued her baby. And the very thing that I'm saying is this right here. God heard your choir. You heard your cry. He heard you. He heard your cry and he's coming to your cry. Many of your cries, you know what you've been crying. And when you know what you've been asking God to meet you in, some of you have been crying quietly. You've been quiet, crying when you're at work. You've been crying even when you got a smile on your face and you just want God to help you. You know, you don't want a whole lot. You just want help. You need help and you need direction. You need a touch. You need a healing and you're crying out to God. Well, I come to tell you that God heard your cry. He heard your cry and he's going to answer your cry. He's coming to your cry right now. But do me a favor. Do me a favor. When he come, when he answer your cry, when you hear him, when you feel him, let him, let him, let him help you. Let him help you. Don't turn him away. Now you're crying and you're asking for the prayer. And so now when God brings you your answer, when, now that he's bringing you your answer, when, he, when the answer comes, don't turn him away. Don't turn him away. And his answer will come in many forms. And some of you, your answer is going to come in an uncommon form. It's going to come in a way that's going to blow your mind where you're not going to think that it's going to be that. But it's going to be that. God's going to send your answer. It's not going to be what you think it's going to be. But it's going to be to be what God wanted to be. Just like with Elijah, when Elijah obeyed God and set up heaven, God told Elijah to go down to this brook and his ravens. I'm going to command some ravens to feed you and sustain you. That was an uncommon thing, something that you wouldn't think that would happen. Uh, a scavenger, a ray hooks, dead things. But this thing that eat dead things is going to bring food that this prophet might live. And that this prophet might strengthen. The Bible says, Lord, he shall renew their strength. And see, in your waiting, while you're waiting, that means you're serving. That means you're seeking the face of God. That means you're praying. That means you're doing what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. And as you're doing what God has called you to do, when God comes and when he answers you and when he sustains you, uh, and let him do it. Let him do it. Let go and let God. Let go and let God get your hands off of it. Let God help you. Let God help you. Let God answer your cry. Let God feel you. And see, some of you, your cry is coming through pain. It's coming through praying. So you're asking for wisdom. You're asking for patience. You're asking for understanding. And it's coming through the. Th it's coming through something that's going to make you uncomfortable. Some of you that will listen to me, it's going to be uncomfortable. Your answer is going to become, it's going to come through something that's uncomfortable. Just like with a, ma a baby, a mother having a baby. You're in that, you're in that place where you, your water has broken and the baby is coming out. There's a whole lot of pain. There's a whole lot of moaning and groaning. There's a whole lot of discomfort. But once that baby comes out, that baby will cry. But this cry is a blessing. It's a blessing. So God is going to answer your cry. God's going to answer your cry with a blessing. But your blessing is going to come through discomfort. So just remember, God heard your cry. And now let him answer you. Let him heal you. Let him meet you. Let him become your supply to your, to your cry. Is that all right? God bless you. He heard you. Now embrace yourself to receive his answer. To receive his response receive his reward be encouraged god bless you amen